Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Chris. Today we're going to give you a glimpse inside of how we made a bathroom cabinet made out of an old vintage window. Come check it out. Well, here we go. A quick trip to the lumber rack to gather up some one by scrap that I've had for quite a while. I've been looking to use this and this is going to give me a perfect opportunity to do so. This window was purchased at a local salvage yard, but you can find these at garage sales, even in the trash sometimes. I like projects like this because there really is no measuring with a tape measure. You simply bring the material to whatever, in this case, is a window, and I'm going to cut these pieces to the exact size of the window. You see me sand here, and then I assemble this cabinet with some glue and brads. I will then later reinforce those joints with screws. But let me just say this. This project has been long overdue. We've had an area above our master bathroom tub that's been needing some storage. It's just been a vast open wall, and finally, I get a chance to get this done. You definitely want to pre-drill these holes because they're so close to the edge of the board. You want to prevent splitting just like that. Now, I take a piece of poplar here and I cut this to length. And this is going to be the only solo shelf that's going to be in the middle of the cabinet. I go ahead and cut some one by material, some scrap down. That way I have a place to rest this shelf as I install it. Glue, screws, brads, you know the drill. Really simple. Now it's time to put it back on this cabinet. I go ahead and take a piece of quarter inch plywood, make some marks, cut it down to size, but I'm gonna leave it a little oversized because I'll flush trim it later with a router. Some glue and some brads tack it in place and I give an overly excited reaction because no nails pierce through the back. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Most of you already know, but in case you don't, this is what a flush trim bit looks like. It has a bearing along the bottom. It's gonna rest along the reference piece and trim that top piece of plywood to the exact same size as the piece resting below it. Pretty simple process. Go along the edge, take your time, and you can see you end up with a very nice clean cut line. Now at this point, I'm gonna make sure the window is just the right size, and it is, so we're gonna go ahead and install the hinges. I found this set of hinges locked away in an old filing cabinet somewhere here in the shop and I must say I wanted to spend no extra money on this project. Everything was constructed out of materials that I had readily available around my shop. You can see there's a small wooden spacer to elevate the door a little bit away from the cabinet while I install the top hinges. I do the same process on the other side and it looks like it works pretty well. And all that work just to take it apart. Reason being, now it's time for stain. Here's a look at the stain I'm using. It's called Kona. It's a very nice rich dark stain goes on with a foam brush and let me show you a little tip so check this out as you can see as I apply this stain with this brush in the traditional sense it's not really flooding the surface but if you go forward it actually works extremely well really nice even coating really simple to do quick little tip when you're applying stain with a foam brush As I'm filling in every nook and cranny with that foam brush, wait about 10 minutes and it's time to wipe off the excess. Now it's time for paint. I go ahead and take this little Lazy Susan I made with some painter's triangles on it. And for being as small as it is, it works pretty well with this cabinet. We're gonna paint this a stark white with chalk paint. Chalk paint's really thick, which allows you to do one coat, which I like, and you don't need to worry about it being that smooth because we want some of that brown coming through. Now this is awesome. Look who got to join me today. Here's my sweet daughter. She's hanging out with her grandma. <laughs> I love it when she can spend time out here. Well, there you go, guys. Couldn't be simpler. There's the cabinet and the window. And check this out. This is a story stick that tells me exactly where my studs are in the bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over, put that story stick on the back of this cabinet, put some spacer blocks to give me reference between the top and the bottom, transfer those marks accordingly. That way, when I install this thing, I know exactly where to drill. As I drill these holes from the back, I flip it up and realize that the hole's gotta be a little bit thicker, so I take a bigger diameter drill bit and finish the job. I worry about that tear out, but it's not too big of a deal because I'm using pan head screws and that's gonna cover all that up. Never thought I'd put my bathroom on YouTube, but this is for the project's sake. There's that empty space above the tub and now it's time to install the cabinet. I simply screw one screw in first and then I get the level and I level the cabinet. Once it's level, I go ahead and drive the rest of the screws home, giving me a nice secure fit. I use some blue tape to put those spacers back on the top of that cabinet, put that window back up, and drive those screws home on those hinges, and we're good to go.
Well, you know what? Now that this is in here, this kind of gives me an idea. Let's, let's try something. So seeing this cabinet up there makes me think it'd be a great place for a television instead. I go to just get an idea and... Excuse me. What? What? Hey, you can't blame a guy for trying, right? <laughs> Why not? Well, as you can see, here's the finished product. There is a mix of functional and decorative in there. There's some bath salts in there along with some pictures and some decor. I think it turned out pretty awesome. I want to thank my wife for the brains behind this. Good job, baby. Well, hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in this week. And also, I want to thank my Patreon supporters again. We had Robbie last week, and now we have Robbie and Steve. You guys rock. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. If you guys want to subscribe to the channel, I'll put a link over here. Again, we'll put a couple more videos over on this side as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been A Glimpse Inside, and my name is Chris, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>